like to party, 47? I've always wondered. You're in the heart of the crowd so often. But I guess not everyone's a people person, are they? And welcome to the IOI Insider. My name is Clemens, and uh, today I am flying solo. Travis couldn't, unfortunately, be here today. So I am alone, sitting in the hot seat, alone. But nevertheless, we have a cool show for you today. Today, a show. This is a show. My name is Clemens, and welcome to the Clemens Show. Um, hello, chat. Nice to see everyone there. Good to see you. Yes, I got a new cab on. There's a Durum on it. It's very cool. Um, thank you so much for tuning in for today. Uh, we just kicked off the IOI Insider with the newest DLC trailer, Lost, for the seven, Act 4 of the Seven Deadly Sins. And um, I really like that trailer. It's very uh, lukewarm. In Danish, we call it Loma. Uh, and that's really, really cool. Uh, let's get a, today, we're going to get a little closer look into that. And also, we have tease that we are also showing a bit of the upcoming permanent event coming for Hitman 3 on us. We're also going to look ahead uh, for what's coming, going to happen in uh, the season of Lust. And I can guarantee you there are some stuff in there that you are gonna love. Uh, we have been, we're so happy about this uh, roadmap and it's gonna be crazy exciting. And it, I'm so happy that I'm gonna be the one gonna spoil everything. We're now Travis not here, so I can say whatever I want. I'm not gonna do that. But let's start with take a little a bit closer look at the Lust DLC. As you just saw the trailer, let's buff up the beautiful key art, Martin. Oh, look at that. There we go. This is 47 in the Scarlet suit. A new suit that you get with the serpent spite is, uh, and the serpent tongue is the new synth-themed items that you're going to get with the Lust DLC. And we have a very cool shot as well with that. It's coming up. Right there, look at that. It's available on Tuesday, July 27th. And uh, man, it just looks super sexy. Gonna say that, gonna say it, had to say it, had to be said. Um, yes, that is a crossbow. Ladies and gentlemen, you're gonna have a crossbow. And so everyone who purchased the uh, Seven Day of the Sin Steel C will be able to play this on Tuesday, which also is where we kick off the new season with um, the patch, with the roadmap, with everything going to happen that day. It's going to be a busy day on Tuesday, uh, and then we're going to start a very, very busy month. But let's take a closer look at the... We have some cool screenshots as well. So uh, as many of you I saw on Hitman from Reddit are talking about where is this location happening, and you were right, many of you, it's going to be Berlin. Uh, the nightclub has been completely transformed into this very, very beautiful, and uh, the atmosphere is just terrific in this location, at this level. Um, can't wait for you guys to uh, experience it. And we also actually got a little sneak peek. I'll show that in a few minutes. Um, that's Berlin. Yes, that is. Uh, it has been transformed into this awesome looking, um, yeah, to, to yeah, lost. I don't know what's called to call it. It just looks, uh, okay, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. It looks horny. It's great. Um, but... Um, in the last assignation, which is the escalation contract that you're going to play um, to unlock all these items, it's a very, very cool and special mission as well. Uh, it has some secrets in it. But you, the elevator pitch is that you got uh, find. You have to find your secret at Myra. Uh, you have to explore the level and find the various clues hidden in safes. You can find keys to open these safes or you can blow them up because why not? It's just awesome to blow stuff up. Um, but... There is a little secret at the end of this mission that I won't spoil. Um, but I think we should take a look at the uh, the intro of the mission. It will give you a good sense of what it is. Check it out. 
Do you like to party, 47? I've always wondered. You're in the heart of the crowd so often. But I guess not everyone's a people person, are they? <gasps> well, at least you know your way around the dance floor. I'm a pale imitation of your last partner, I know. But we could still be friends, right? Humans need others, don't you? So many people want trust, power, love, without earning it. It's enough to drive someone crazy. It's why I need a wingman, pet, and why I think you're beyond perfect for the job. Take a good look at my lovely guests here. There are six clues nearby that will reveal which among them is my one true admirer. So that's the opening of the mission, and I, I just instantly you are, you, you, you maybe if you're a very skilled hitman player and you played the missions a lot, I know a lot of you guys have, you can see that this is Berlin, but it has been clearly been transformed into this beautiful looking location, and I've played it a lot, and I really think it's uh, it's really really cool, and I of course I have to say it, but but I really mean it, and uh, I'm really looking forward for, to people for to play it and see some cool playthroughs on this because that is. Um, a, a different, a bit different way you complete this uh, escalation. Last escalation is coming this Tuesday. I think that's what I have to say about last. Normally, I will have a ping pong with my dear co-host or co—I'll be the co-host probably with Travis, but he's not here, so uh, this is the one-man show. Uh, but it looks neat. Let's see if there are any uh, questions. Like, is uh, Clemens is hot? Damn! Yes, I am. Yes. The chat is very good. I can see it all the way. So as long as you think I'm hot, it's great. I also uh, wear a new swag from the merch store. You can see that from Hitman 2. Really, really cool. Um, but okay, I know a lot of people have been here uh, looking into this uh, stream for what is the permanent event, and we got some info on that. So very soon, I will show you uh, the very first reveal of what it is. Before we do this, uh, I just want to, you know, just be the annoying host and drag it through the dirt and wait and wait and wait. Uh, I've seen a lot of speculations everywhere, and but uh, let's just do it. Martin, do it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Dartmoor Garden Show. So in the Dartmoor Garden Show, Agent 47 is going to, yet again, going to Dartmoor, but it is completely reworked. That is my favorite word today. There are four gardens from across the world where you have to go and explore and find the... Uh, let's have this image, the next one. It's really cool. Um, yeah, so yeah, it's okay. We have uh, technical issues. I will just... Uh, but okay, you can see it here. There are two images as well. Here it is. Oh, look at that. That is the suit that you also get. It's the summer sightseeing suit that you wear in this mission, the Dartmoor Garden Show. I'm just going to say it for the... 500th time. This is a permanent edition, and it's going to be free for all Hitman 3 owners on August 5. Soon we will have a trailer showcasing this even more and going into depth of what this mission is or this event is, the permanent event is, uh, but we will have that trailer ready closer to release, which is August 5. But what is cool about this mission? Well, not only that it's, it looks completely different, there are these four different gardens from across the world you have to investigate and go around in and explore, take it in. And uh, the summer sightseeing suit looks amazing. You are just looking really dope. But one thing that's really, really cool is that every time you boot up this mission, your target is randomized. So this gives you a lot of replayability when you boot up the mission and you play the game. Yes, it's a daylight mission. So you see like normally Dartmoor is a bit gloomy and dark, and it's been it's a bit brighter in the Sloth DLC, but in this one, it is sunny. Sun's out, guns out, almost. It's really, really gorgeous looking, and it's very, very full of colors and um, and permanent, just permanent. <laughs> uh, do we have? We don't have any screenshots of the mission, right? Unfortunately. God damn it! That's a, that's a sad one. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. And again, me and my ghost, Travis here, has played it and we played it a lot. And again, we uh, it's really fun to explore Dartmoor in a completely different uh, 
you and way. It's really, really cool. Oh, there's another small thing that's really cool about this mission. And I see questions about, for instance, just I'm just going to say something now that maybe you will stitch the two two together, that contracts mode, right? You always want new contracts modes and awesome locations and tweaks for contracts mode and stuff like that. On this Dartmoor Garden Show, you will be able to create contracts for others to enjoy, for others to play, for yourself to explore. And uh, so it's both free for all owners of Hitman 3. It's permanent and you can create contracts on it. So this has been a huge win and we're very excited about it because, I mean, I love contracts. It's my one of my uh, biggest things. <laughs> I really enjoy it, making them and playing them, uh, usually playing them from, from awesome community members like all of you. But now you can also create it on this mission, uh, on this location, or that more by day. Um, and I'm really, really excited about that. And uh, I'm, look, I'm looking forward to that the badge, the featured contract badge by the community that's also coming in the Season of Lust. I promise you that will not only be missions, I will not only pick, we will not only pick missions on, uh, on the Dartmoor Garden Show, but there will be maybe one. <laughs> Thanks, Clemens. Yeah, it's me, all me. I did it. Yeah, it was a struggle. No. Um, so there's one saying here, hey, Clemens, I want Hitman 2016 men main menu theme in the Hitman 3 menu. So what you do is you go in and you find a soundtrack of Hitman 1. You press play on that theme song. You boot up Hitman 3. There you go. I am the man of the, with the fixes. Any more questions about that? Roadmap reveal. Uh, we're not gonna life hacks with Clemens. That's a new spin-off series. I will uh, gladly give you all my life hacks. Uh, I have a good, some good ones. Uh, we will not completely show what's coming in the roadmap because on Tuesday, it's right around the corner. And uh, any leaks, Clemens? Oof. Well, I saw, no, I'm not gonna try to leak something, but I have something I also wanna show and I'm flying through the minutes here with all the content I have. It's like shooting with a shotgun. I'm just content, content, stuff, cool stuff. Uh, and I have only uh, I have an hour to kill, so <laughs> bear with me. There's no ping pong manager here. I can't talk with anyone. So I'll talk with you guys. Um, no, sorry, get back to the point. Roadmap reveal, not gonna happen really, but we are, I am gonna show some cool stuff coming uh, in the season of Lust. I'm gonna, very soon, um, because I think that we don't wanna show everything because it's when you first see the roadmap and uh, if you know everything, it's not gonna be that surprising. But you know, there's gonna be a Hitman 3 elusive target, of course, and it's coming as well. Uh, but we're not showing anything about the upcoming uh, loser target because it's right around the corner with that. Okay, now I started talking about contracts mode. So, uh, and there's also questions for uh, if we ever want to do more with contracts mode. And that is the, of course, the we want to maybe do that sometime. And uh, and and it's just like a thing that we know it's dear for a lot of you, and it's also dear for us, but. Not promising anything, but hopefully now the leak station is I'm here. My fingers crossed that it sometime, someday will happen more for that. But I say but a lot. <laughs> it's lust. That's why. It's the season of lust. That's why I say but a lot. Hey. Anyways, for featured contracts. We last month gave you the ICA 19 ducky. Uh, what was the name? Chat. Come on. Uh, the ICA Ducky Gun. Ah, what was it? Oh. Anyways, you probably know it. The the cool ICA 19 dressed like a gun. Duck, Ducky Baller. There we go. Um, that you got that for completing 40 uh, feature contracts. With the Season of Lust, we'll get to 50 feature contracts. And uh, when you unlock the 50th or complete the 50th feature contract, you'll unlock. The SMG Raptor, Ruby Rood. Complete 50 feature contracts to unlock this beautiful gun. Or, sorry, SMG. You have to be. This is really, really cool, and it looks, yeah, really, really dope. I am uh, a huge fan of this gun. I love, love SMGs in, in real life. And I remember, now you can get a story from Clemens, uh, because I have time to kill. We have a lot of time. And I have the best thing at last, so I'm, not, I'm saving the best thing. Um, and yes, it's another unlock. But before we go there, SMGs are really, really cool. And when I was in the army, that was the, one of the prime reasons why I wanted to be in the army, because I was told that you could try to shoot with a real SMG. 
uh, and we did. It was really, really cool. But it was not Ruby Root cool. It was just a boring MP5. But it was cool nevertheless. So, um, yes, I have been, I have been, oh, shit. Just a second. I fell down from the chair. Yes, I've been in the army. This is it won a couple of years ago. Um, okay, Camo Clemens. This is super awesome. Um, okay, let's just get the cat out of the bag. Before I press transition, Martin, I only stream for 16 minutes. This is uh, <laughs> it's gonna be cool. Let's we'll take some questions afterwards. But it's a new record. I'm speed running the live stream. Okay. Now I'm just kidding. So before we, uh, before I, this is, a, 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 it is so cool. And this is a fan favorite. A lot of people have been asking for this. Can we get someone in the chat to, what is the unlock that you've been waiting for, that you really want? It's not a baguette, I'm sorry. Ghost mode, no. Gold baller, gold baller. Gold shoulder swap, no. Gold baller, gold baller. PCs, go baller, go baller. Okay, show it. It's the ICA 19 gold baller. <laughs> I need an explosion sound or air horn. There it is. The ICA 19 gold baller. <clears throat> Just looking at chat right now. Yes, nice. So, uh, to, com to unlock this, you just have to complete the untouchable challenge, which is uh, basically just complete the Carpathian Mountain mission. Uh, when you complete that, the gold baller is yours to keep uh, and bring to all other exotic locations. And it looks really, really cool. Yes. And uh, we had really fun when we recorded the roadmap. We had very fun uh, recording this gun because it just looks really, really cool. So it was easy to just have 47 stand with a gun. And it just looks amazing. So a lot of cool new content, a lot of unlocks coming in the season of lust. But before we do that, again, but let me just take it all from the top just to go through so we know exactly what's happening. For people who eventually joined late, welcome to the stream. My name is Clemens. I'm rappling, going through the stream very quickly because I am uh, alone today. Uh, unfortunately, Travis is not here. So on July 27th, the season of lust starts and it kicks off the act four of the seven deadly sins, lust. You unlock in that mission, you will get in the escalation, you get the last assignation escalation where you have to find your secret admirer. You find your secret admirer by going full on detective, finding keys to open the safes, blow up the safe to find clues to where they are. When you find them, something happens and I will, won't spoil that. But you will get the scarlet suit, the serpent's tongue and the serpent's bite when you complete and play the last assignation escalation comes out. July 27th, alongside the uh, start of the season of Lust, which also on Tuesday we'll have, of course, we'll have uh, server maintenance and we will have a game update coming out and we will also have the roadmap coming out. So while you, the game's downloading the update and while you're waiting for the server maintenance, there will be a lot to digest what is coming with uh, the season of Lust. We have a very, very jam packed roadmap with elusive targets, cool new unlocks, and of course, the permanent event, the Dartmoor Garden Show. It's coming right there. It just looks super cool. Uh, and you will get the, uh, the summer sightseeing suit and you will play around with um, in this very randomized mission where targets are randomized when you boot it up. And uh, it adds a lot of cool new gameplay opportunities. And also it's really cool to explore the different gardens. And I really indulge you just to, first time you play, just go in and explore because there's so many cool Little uh, cool little details here and there. And these gardens are like you walk into like almost like portals to different dimensions or worlds, right? So you get to, you go to the Africa one and it's like, you're definitely there and you go to the, yeah, it's just really, really cool. I can't really remember what the fourth gardens, um, unfortunately, so I won't say anything that's wrong, but they are really, really unique and different, all four of them. And the entire ground around them, the mansion is just been completely reworked. You, you will probably, it's hard to recognize that it's Dartmoor. It's light, it's sunny, it's hot, it's nice. Um, and it's August 5, it will come. And we will have a trailer, as I probably said before, we'll have a trailer for this going out uh, uh, sooner to release. And the release for this is August 5. 
enable feature, being permanent, and contracts mode. Then what we showcase from, uh, let's just go to the SMG Ruby route. This is what you get when you complete 50 feature contracts and it will come out alongside, yeah, it will be in the game, but it will come, you can unlock it with the first batch of feature contracts coming uh, early in the season of Lust. And then on day one, you can of course go in and unlock the ICA Gold Ball, 19 Gold Baller, just by completing the Carpathian Mountains. Uh, let's just see that beauty one more time. Did you, did, it, did you do it full screen as well? For people to screen grab and everything? Yeah, it's just, it's really, really cool. And it's been something that you guys have been asking for and it's been on Travis and I top list of things that we really wanted to get into your hands as soon as possible. And we're so happy that this is happening. The same with contract mode on uh, and on the Dartmoor Garden Show. We heard that this they started talking about it, and Travis and I were just like, "Yes, let's do this. Let's make this happen. This is like a huge win." Um, and also because it's fun. It's just I can't wait for people to do crazy sniper challenges in uh, in the in the in the Dartmoor Garden Show. There's a lot of cool opportunities there, and also there's so many mazes you can go around and just hide stuff. It's brilliant. It's just absolutely brilliant. Um, so that's happening. Everything is happening on Tuesday. It's roadmap and everything will come out on Tuesday in the 27th. Um, and we um, will, of course, alongside that, have the game update. And we will also have the uh, server maintenance, the beloved server maintenance. Everyone loved this creamy. Cool. Let's uh, dive into some questions. If you have anything, I saw some questions online, but what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to promise you that I will start a, uh, a thread on various platforms where we can gather questions for the next IOI Insider, because it's better for us to also, if we have some more complicated questions, that we can find them and digest them and, and make sure that we uh, give you the right information. So for the next IOI Insider, I will make these threads, I'll do it right after this stream, uh, or not, probably not right after this stream, but soon I will do that. And then you guys can uh, start putting down your questions there. Also, if you come up with questions during, uh, before, we will start and we'll go down and we'll, we'll take some of these and we'll make a longer Q&A session for the next stream because I'm alone today. So it's been, unfortunately, I can't do that today. But I promise you, I'll do some now if, if there are some that I, I can... Uh, I can answer but uh, for the next one we'll do a longer Q&A and we will of course have the, uh, the threats where we, we enjoy indulge you to please go in and uh, write in some questions but if you have any questions or want something to say now is your 15 minutes to shine five minutes to shine Let's see if there's anything we can say Yes, I see that uh, there's a, there's a, one asking about, can you go up, just, just tiny up, progress a modding policy. Yes, Travis and I are working on that and we will have something uh, shortly, but we are still working on that. Uh, so it's it's still being uh, yeah, worked on. But we are pretty hit these days because of vacation, various places of people and everywhere. So we are uh, a little understaffed at the moment uh, due to vacation. People are sitting in tanning oh, in Denmark or wherever they're going. The world is slightly opening up, so some people are luckily to travel. Um, ah, don't drink from that cup. I'm sorry. But you see, that's a missed opportunity, right? Martin said the same thing. Like, why don't you drink of this? Then I, I don't know. It was dirty. And I, yeah. I can, nah, too late. Um, also, uh, don't spam question. Be polite. The cup is poisoned. I think this is a... Uh, this is why Trev's not here. Drink from the wrong cup. If you see any questions, you can just write them out loud. If you see anything, it's fine. What else we all trying to pack? Shoulder swap. <laughs> we have answered that and these those questions. You know what's uh, what's the policy and what's happening on that. Um, when Russian translation. Yeah, uh, we're still looking into that, uh, the Hitman Stadia issues. Um, we're still looking into that. That's super annoying. So stay tuned for updates ASAP. Uh, 
Uh, okay, yeah, that's a good question. There's one asking here, there's how do I access the digital soundtracks? Uh, should I be seeing it in the menus? No, you have to go to your IOI account. Uh, you go into your, go to IOI.dk and up in the right bar, you can see there's one, say, that's account. You can press that, log in, in there under, I think it's called Rewards and Unlocks, something like that, something like that, similar to that. There's a bar, you can press that, and then you will see what you have unlocked, and your digital soundtracks will be in there, and you can just download them there, and you can listen them to your, on your iOS. In your uh, iPad, iPod, <laughs> iPad, old school. Um, uh, well, there's a lot of questions. I see them, but uh, ignoring them. Cross-platform contracts, that's a good question. Unfortunately, not at the moment, but what we do when we feature them, they are kind of cross-platform because we are picking them from various platforms and duplicating them and doing I like it. But if you want to play, I mean, for usually for the, a lot of the uh, feature contracts threats, there are a lot of good heroes out there that are recreating the, uh, the let's say there's like a cool contract for PlayStation. Uh, some people out there recreate them for other platforms so you, for you to actually play them. Uh, it's uh, the very <laughs> the budget version of <laughs> cross-platform, but it's really really cool that some people actually uh, do the effort for doing to do this, and it's uh, usually they're just as good. Um, that you, that's the way you can do it, or you can just uh, fingers crossed and get your favorite contracts featured. Uh, on that, we are still doing the same. We're gonna get a new developer for the feature contract for Lust to help me pick uh, the winners and uh, looking forward to that as well. Um, I'm also just, uh, might as well have some, we have the time. I'm also doing another th thread about IOI Insider Extra. If there, and uh, I'm open for suggestions what you guys would like to see on those streams. I've seen people talk about concept art and, and stuff like that. And I think that could be really cool to get a concept artist on board and then talk about some of the cool suits, items, and, and stuff we've made in the game as well, not only being relevant for the this uh, the DLC, but also maybe look ahead at the full world of assassination. But I'll make a thread on that as well, uh, so we can uh, talk together on what you guys want to see, because it's a show for you guys. So if there's something you really want to see, let's talk about it and figure out how we can make that a, a possibility. Um... The crossbow is not explosive, unfortunately. That could be cool, but it's not. It's very dope, though. It looks really cool. And it's silent. People want a studio tour. People want a studio tour. Okay. Well, let's take the camera and we'll go for a walk. We can't. It's unfortunately it's super plugged into a computer, but that could actually be really cool. And we can do that. Right now, we are uh, the, the studio is quite empty due to a lot of people on vacation and some people are still working at, from home. But we're starting to get back in as soon as people get more vaccinated here in Denmark. And it's uh, starting to look like a normal world again, which is really, really cool. But we can do that. We can easily make that happen. Um, that would be really cool. When there are some people here, of course. It's a little more fun where we can actually just ask people. So we could do like a, like a full tour. I will guide you around from the lobby to the upper floors, to the gym areas, to the mocap studio. We can make a, I'll do that. I'll put, I'll write that. We'll make that happen. Um, <laughs> a manga elusive target. That would be cool. What's <laughs> up? Leak gameplay on monitors. Yes, that could be also be a nice thing. Actually, fun fact, we did that. We uh, When we did the, the promotion video, one of the first videos we did for Hitman 3, uh, there was a, um, we, we were having an interview with the game director, Matthias Engström, and uh, right behind him was, a, <laughs> I can't remember who it was, sitting and doing something and on the last level. And that was not good. That would have been horrible to spoil that. And we saw that very late so we actually then actually just cut that scene out. So we just so uh, it's very visible where it had been. I'll just say that maybe you can find it. That was really cool. Also, actually, we did one spoil where we did a panning around, and then there was the storyboard for the entire game. It was just put on a wall. It was like every chapter, every target, everything was just on this big board, and we were just like, "Yeah, welcome to IO." That was uh, also blurred. <laughs> I actually think it also was removed. That was very, uh, 
So yeah, that was many cool stuff. I don't think. Um, let's see. Uh, this is uh, purely Hitman right now. We're not talking about Project 007, but uh, not for now. Only going to be Hitman stuff. I feel like I'm peddling in water right now. Don't know. I Let's see if there's any... Is anyone have like a very cool Hitman 3 related question? Will Gary Busey lose a target be available soon? Unfortunately not. That is... Uh, for people who try that, it's going to be in a distant memory. Sorry? Yeah. Well, is the crossbow deadly or poison? Uh -huh. You have to find out. Just saying. I know. <laughs> it's awesome being on this side as a seed. Um, what about Sean Bean? Elusive target is still the jury still on that one. Um, can't see. There's many good questions I would like to answer. Hitman uh, Clemens suit with cap and Hitman merch. Well, we just uh, okay. We just in, I know Martin is his dear baby is the Hitman merch uh, the merch store. We do have very uh, cool. Uh, we have a sale right now, summer sale. We get twenty five percent on everything. So you can go in ioi store .dk and you can find uh, the merch store. You can you can want to do uh, this for instance. The shirt is on sale. Uh, everything is on sale, twenty five percent. So if you need to swag up, we're good to go. All right, guys, this is a. Uh, this is really, really cool. I'm sorry, it's been a little shorter than planned, but uh, I hope you can bear with me uh, that I uh, just enjoy it. I'm so happy you guys tuned in and be part of this. It came a little on us this morning that we were going to do this alone. Unfortunately, we couldn't prepare that much for it. So uh, I'm sorry about that. But to sum up everything, the Dartmoor Garden Show permanent event coming August 5th with Contracts Mode. The Gold Baller is coming in the Season of Lust. You're going to get a cool Raptor Rudy SMG, Ruby Root SMG uh, for completing 50 featured contracts. And then the Act 4 of the 7 Deadly Sin DLC Lust comes on August 27th on Tuesday alongside with the roadmap and the whole shebang. I think I'm going to wrap up because I'm out of all my content to say. Uh, looking forward to see you on the next RI Insider Extra stream, which is uh, coming halfway through the season ish and then for the next ioi insider stream and uh i just want to make sure that you know that we know that we are listening we're reading everything you say and we're trying to make hitman the best game possible for all of us thank you so much for joining today uh and i'm i can't wait for you guys to explore the dartmoor garden show and the lust designation uh, look forward to the new roadmap i look Beautiful in it. I bought a Hugh Hefner uh, <laughs> bathrobe for it. I'm in a very cool location. I'm sorry it is a little shorter than anticipated, but hey, we showed you a lot of cool content. No reason for you to wait. It's coming, a lot of it, and it's starting on Tuesday, August 27. Thank you so much, and take care, and I'll see you on the next IOI, IOI Insider. Do you like to party, 47? I've always wondered. You're in the heart of the crowd so often. But I guess not everyone's a people person, are they? of your last partner.